before I just get in game, guys, I think it's time to go to everybody's favorite college football segment. Ooh. Let me take it's a little drama water. On a budget. You need like game show music or something here. I know. Uh, all right. Do, so, do, 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 do. Exactly. so the concept for those of you who might be watching the show for the first time, it, what we like to do every single week is we wish we wish upon you to broaden your horizons. Go, go to places you've never been. Go see teams you've never seen. If your team's not playing, you know, go help out local economies and things like that. But what we want you to do is use college football as the fulcrum. And we find games that you can go into, get in price $9 or less, and Marty, once we present our evidence, yields a cup with Jim Tressel wearing a vest because getting into these football games would be about the same price as that soda once filled in that cup. So here we go with football or, or on the budget. The sweater that Jim Trussell is wearing. True. Here's your get in, uh, here's your football on a budget for week 13. Starting early Tuesday. Uh, you want to know where Waldo Stadium is? It's in Kalamazoo, Michigan. That's where Waldo is. You're supposed get- to, dude, that was a perfect setup for a Where's Waldo joke. Absolutely. <sighs> Six bucks, get in price, Bowling Green in Western Michigan, seven o'clock on the U. I am in just because I want to see the only team in Michigan that isn't being investigated by NCAA in some form or fashion. Well, I thought you were gonna say you wanna you wanted to find you wanted to actually find out where Walt where's Waldo. No, um, you know, we we went to the other uh, central Michigan where they're trying to find out where Stallion apparently nobody's been able to walk down to practice yet and look around on the sideline and said, Oh, that guy's not here. Maybe he wasn't one of our coaching staff people, but apparently that takes three weeks or yeah. longer to find out. Yeah. How can, you, how can you ever go wrong with a directional Michigan school, of which there's like 27? Yes, absolutely. Hmm. Uh, Friday. So black Friday yields football on a budget. And you're probably going to need it because you will have been shopping and getting all of your, all of your gifts for the festivist season. So what do you do if you have some time off and you actually still have some money left over? You can go to the link in Philadelphia. Noon kick, Memphis at Temple, get in price, five bucks. I'm in just because the teams have inverse uh, records. Plus, I am a real American, much like Hulk Hogan, and I'm going to support the American football. The The, uh, you know, you look at five dollars. That is cheaper than taking a tour of that NFL stadium. So save yourself some money. Go there. It'll probably be the only time you go into that stadium without hearing a ton of cussing. I don't know if anybody's been there, but uh, there might not be a ton of folks there, so you wouldn't have. Might, a this is true. And I, I have been there. I I, I ran a, an end zone camera in that stadium. And I heard some unbelievable things. And when I turned around to see who was saying these unbelievable things, it was a father and son. And I will not give you the age of that kid because that was just unbelievable. I should have called uh, an agency somewhere because the the stuff <laughs> oh. that they were yelling at Warren Sapp to tell you how long ago was was just unbelievable. <laughs> uh, also, never, never change Philly. Never change. Yep, I got booed on the sidelines. <laughs> oh yeah, che- <laughs> there. Go to the game, get a cheesesteak. Because I was wearing a jacket for the uh, with the logo of the TV station I was working for at the time, which is based in Atlanta. Oh. Let's see the Atlanta and you get booed instantaneously. Oh. Yep. How could you get booed being part of the clear leader? <laughs> hey. It's uh, across all three of us, Bear. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> also at noon Eastern in Akron, Ohio at Infocision Stadium, which sounds like a really bad eye surgery. Ohio at Akron, get in price, nine bucks. Go Bobcats, I'm in. All right. I just missed the rubber bowl. Excuse me? That was the old stadium in Akron that I believe is torn down. Yes. Uh, Also, 3.30 on ABC. (sighs) It is another return visit. Oh, my God, that's our game. Oh. Okay, that that is our football on the budget game of the week. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> How do you have a top 25 team that is having their 10 and one undefeated in their conference huh? at three dollars? So this is where Marty goes <gasps> once again to Yolman Stadium in New Orleans, buys half a dozen tickets for 18 bucks. 
to go see Texas San Antonio and the new head coach of Texas A&M, not, go play the 24th ranked team in the CFP, 330 on ABC, Yulman Stadium, three bucks. Marty, Even though we, we had a ban on uh, UTSA, uh, this is in <laughs> – this is in at the correct stadium in New Orleans, so we are going to go there. But I, I might have to buy maybe two dozen tickets and then do a bunch of cardboard cutouts of Connor Stallions holding up a, a cell phone and recording <laughs> sidelines. There you go. Just for the fun of it. Pretty sure for the price of one ticket to the Ohio State-Michigan game, you can buy an entire section of bleachers. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I think you could buy the end zone. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, you're gonna my- see that you're gonna see the all-state net, and then you're gonna see my wife and I going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately, you you want that late game there? I mean, seriously, you're looking at noon kick on the big one on the big board, four hundred and sixty-eight bucks. You could get uh one hundred and fifty-six tickets to uh, Tulane hosting Texas San Antonio for the same price of getting one ticket to Ohio State and Michigan. So we've just done the math for you. There you go. Yeah, nobody's cheating in this game either. So ah, <sighs> all right. it's rivalry week. I'm going to talk all kinds of smack. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so you've got that game on Black Friday. Then we go to Saturday. We bypassed, obviously, we told folks to get in price for Ohio State and Michigan. Next stop. FBC Mortgage Stadium on the campus of the University of Central Florida. Noon kick, FS1, Houston at UCF, get in price, six bucks. I'm in. Just because Tosh, uh, Daniel Tosh uh, graduated from there and he's finally doing a show again on YouTube. Okay. I'm going to support the Knights. Yeah, I have to go for that one just because it's um, because I grew up not too far from there, and it's always a good chance, good time to be able to go back to the whole the hometown area. All right, new and wait, 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 and if you're a fan of uh, Central Florida, uh, check out the Rift Track version of the movie Miami Connection. Okay, filmed on their campus. There you, oh, okay, there you go. Uh, also from the Mac, it is Maction at noon on the plus Northern Illinois at Kent state from one of our favorite names in Kent, Ohio, Dick's stadium, D I X. It has nothing to do with the sporting goods company. Get in price nine bucks. How can you say no to Saturday Maction? It's a rarity. It's a unicorn. But you were going to say, how can you say no to Dick's? <laughs> I can. <laughs> Uh, also on the board, do we have uh, to, are you turning uh, red? <laughs> <laughs> do we have to that? Uh, nope. Uh, also on the board, our the, friends at Spreaker will tell us if we do. Yes, uh, might put up the explicit rating. Uh, all right, two o'clock on the CW, where the uh, play by play booth might be in a different place from the actual stage. Oh. Two o'clock on the CW, get a sad truck, stop using live view. Uh, Wake and Syracuse, apparently Syracuse without Dino Babers, 2 o'clock. JMA Wireless Dome, maybe that's what they used to get their signal out, is JMA Wireless. Get in price, 5 bucks. Nope. I'm going to have to say no, even though Syracuse bowl eligibility hangs in the balance on this one. Yes, that is true. They've got to win to get to 6 yeah, to 6. Just, the idea of going to Syracuse at the end of November just doesn't sound that appealing. Nope. Uh, also, 2 o'clock on the plus. Tulsa at East Carolina at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium in Greenville, North Carolina. Get in price seven bucks. Nope. That's a no. Got to find a way to get to Greenville first. Mm. Uh, also, two o'clock in the fun belt on the plus. Georgia State at Old Doberman from SB Ballard Stadium in Norfolk, Virginia. Get in price six bucks. I'm in. Okay. Plus you got bowl eligibility on the line. Mm-hmm. And it's a place we've never been this year. We've never been to Norfolk. That is true. Ooh. Uh, also, three three o'clock on the plus. More fun belt. You already know my answer. Western Kentucky at Florida International. Ricardo Silva Stadium, home of the Miami FC in Boca Raton. Technically is their address, but it's listed as Miami, Florida. And get in price for the Chiggers and FIU, seven bucks. I'm in. 
you're, I think you're like right within a couple of miles of the of the Western guys. Kentucky is officially one of my secondary teams. Absolutely. And now uh, I'm over Rotonic end of November. I know. I See, would there actually you... play, pay full price for Western Kentucky. Okay. Uh, we got a couple left here for football on a budget for week 13. This next one, uh, I'm just going to speed read past it because there's no way in hell I think any of us would go to this one. Uh, and we probably would take the under and it still would, uh, and that would be the only value of this game. <sighs> 3.30 on the B1G Network. Northwestern at Illinois Memorial Stadium in Champaign, Illinois. Get in price three bucks. Thanks for dropping by. All right. Ha ha. No. Hey, um, before you go, before you run away. Yeah. Western wins this game. They're bowl eligible. Stop scaring people. Um. Hmm. Oh. David hmm. Brown inherits a team in that was a mess before the season started. With the scandal going on there and the firing of Pat Pat Fitzgerald, they could end up in a bowl game. That's good for them. For them, nope. Mm. Yeah, nope. It's like the bowl game they'll play in. Don't care. <laughs> Much like shingles. Uh, all right. So, uh, no three thirty. Now this one in the, this one has intrigue. First off, it's a stadium I don't think we've been to this year. Uh. 3.30 CBS Sports Network. Liberty, can they run the table? They are at Texas El Paso. Sun Bowl, El Paso, Texas. Get in price? Five bucks. I'm in. Down I'm in. in for the drama. I'm in for the price. Down in the West Texas town of El Paso. Yes, thank you, Marty Robbins. And then uh, two more. In Steve the Martin's version of that was much better. Yes. Uh, <laughs> FS1 back into the double header. West Virginia and Baylor at McLean Stadium in Waco, Texas. Seven o'clock FS1. Get in price three bucks. No. Wow. I would say no, but because it's three dollars and because I can hit Bucky's on the way and get a three meat sandwich, do yourself a favor and get that sandwich. I'll go. All right. I'm thinking just. Because um, we're make, we're talking about this game well in advance of the actual game. I'm thinking if you wait it out, they might actually pay you to go to this game. So you know, you, know, you can you can stop at the uh, Magnolia and uh, get some Christmas presents, get some candles, get some uh, fine pottery for Christmas presents. Yeah, go to the game. All right, last uh, a ticket, you might get paid to to, yeah, to right. receive a ticket. Exactly. So the last uh, last game in Division One, it is seven thirty on the U at the Pirate Ship in Tampa, Charlotte at Ooh. South Florida. Get in price six bucks. Marty's thinking. I'm gonna say no. I've already seen the Pirate Ship this year. Yeah, okay. that's a tough sell. There's uh, South Florida's better. Charlotte is Charlotte. Um, I like supporting the American Conference. You know, they're headquartered not too far from where I live, but I just I can't get excited for this game. Okay. Not even bowl eligibility on the line. Oh, yeah. And wait, South Florida could go to a bowl, but much like the bowl they would get to, not going to watch. Don't care. And uh, so that is another go round of football. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. You know, you, you forgot about the uh, the money exchange rate for being in Hawaii. Oh, oh the late game. Okay. Yes. The cool. 11 o'clock Eastern, 10 o'clock my time. I don't even know what time in Honolulu. Uh, so it would be <laughs> cracked four for you. The last game of the uh, of rivalry week, even though it's not a really a, a okay. rivalry game. I'm definitely going to take Hawaii just 20 because. Bucks. 20 bucks. Colorado State and Hawaii on the big island at, T at Clarence T.C. Ching. 20 you you got to go to that stadium before they move again because it is a mobile stadium. Yes. Yeah, it, it is modular, as they say. So uh, that is another go-round of football on a budget for week 13. That's where we go.